Hello and welcome! My name is Yuhura and this is my Let's Play series of the Open Alice 4 where we're playing as the Blessed Nation of Ethiopia. So, uh, we have a couple of uprisings here that we can deal with pretty e easily actually. Uh, we split this guy up, send him to these two provinces. And if we take this guy and send him down to Kilva, which is... I just had it. There it is. Then we will uh, take it, and when boss are here, we still have a truce with. But otherwise, I think we are we are at a position where we should probably start getting ready for a Mamluk war. So um, we can actually get one more war, uh, army. Oh yeah, we needed some more money for that. Yeah, that's right. And then I'm thinking. That what we could do was build a fort here and then attack from down here. That way we can knock Hejaz out of the war um, without splitting our forces up too much. Um, and then see what happens. Either we then swing into a rack and get them out and then fin finally go to Mamlox, or maybe at that point we have killed enough that we can like take both at one time, but we'll see. I think the, the, the thing we do is we build a fort here, or a castle, because that means that they might be able to take Alexandria and this, but uh, they have to take this fort before they can get into like the mainland of Ethiopia, uh, which gives us a little bit of time. Alternatively, we could have made a one more here and then started with Memlocks. That might actually be better. You know what? Yeah, I think we mine already. I'm gonna make an extra fort here. Oh, we're actually gonna make it here. Hmm, what do I wanna do? Yeah, I think I wanna make it here so they have to take that first and then get over here and take this one. Uh, because then we go against Mamlux first, and then swing into Hijaz once we have taken out Cairo and um, Al Karakia. Because that way we protect our capital. Because if our capital falls, it's gonna be a lot of uh, war exhaustion, and, and that's sort of nice. So let's do it like that. So now both of these should be going away. We have to pay a little bit more to our troops. Yes, now they're going away. Oh, there's one in Mercer as well. Uh, so how much is there here? Let's just do this then. Um, you go on the boat and you go up to Mercer. And then we can... Pay you a little bit less. A sacked monastery. Um, one of our provinces has sent representatives to request resources and support in the restoration of an old monastery recently sacked in a bandit raid. The foundation of the stone wall was set generations ago, and the people in the area long for nothing more than to restore the building and make it a beacon of work, holy worship. Uh, any aid given to the community would potentially impress the locals, so we can get low low uh, development costs, but we don't really need that, so um, let's just disappoint them, be some assholes. Kill one separatist came back really quickly. Yeah, but they, they shouldn't be able to fire before the end of the well, the end of the world, basically. Uh, let's just start some um, spy network on Kilva so we can take their th things quickly.
when one of our colonies are finishing. That's very nice. The importance of higher learnings. The monsters of our empire are famed. I think we've had this one several times. So we can get cheaper tech or some money. Um. Yeah. How are we doing on the whole colonialism thing? It's actually spread down here now. Is there anywhere else where it's close to spreading to? How long is this for? It's only for 15 years. And it's 160 ducats. I think we just take the ducats. Um. Oh, and it's also almost done in Alexandria. I think we can... I think we actually get this pretty soon. Um. We should probably save for that. Maybe we should not buy the second army. Uh, how much do Mamluks and their... Uh, friends have so let's just take that out so Mamluks have 37,000 we have 42 I actually have the second largest army in the known world which is pretty impressive um, so they have 37 and then um, Hedyas 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 have 12,000 and Iraq has probably something in the same range. Uh, let's see if I can. So that's 25,000 all in all. 25 plus. So they have quite a lot of soldiers. They are all take 10. So we have no. No leg up on them. We probably need that extra army then. Otherwise, we'll have to like if we fight them all at once, we're losing. And all we get is Oman, which have like no troops. He has like fifteen thousand, so yeah. Oh, we have a Lumen disaster. Um. Oh, this one is going away by itself, I think, yeah. 44. Well, I guess we're... Um... Oh, not trade. You have to explore some more. Take the North American coast. <clears throat> but yeah. I think I think I would rather I would rather go to the, take this war now than um, than get um, I'd rather do the war now than get rid of my um, colonialism modifier. So let's do that. Um, you go up here, and you sail up here. And the army is assembling. Let's just send some... So we lose 25, and it's only minus 10, or we can not lose anything, and it's minus 15. Why would we ever do this? I don't get this. It's done pretty soon anyway.
Um, let's just pay. And I don't think we're going to spread any more in the Americas. As I said, uh, because of the way trade routes work, it makes most sense for us to spread this way. So uh, I think this is going to be our next target, taking these islands and then starting to spread over here in the Spice Islands. What is our mission, by the way? Yeah, it's Antioch. Okay. So yeah, I think this is gonna be this is gonna be where we go to. Yeah, we can already reach over here. So um, I want to grab the islands just to make it easier to get our boats over here. But um, might as well start getting a uh, foothold here. Yes, I think that's gonna be the next thing. Oh, this is. Oh, there's an extra horse here. Interesting. So, how are we doing for generals? Uh, can we get one from the nobles? Oh, we can actually do a bunch of stuff with the nobles right now. Um, why do they have so low influence? Oh, because they have a modifier. Um, oh yeah, two modifiers that are minus 10, so that, do we need to keep that in mind? Probably need to wait until, which means I, was, I should have checked that out before. But yeah, I probably need to wait until um, that runs out before I, I give them too much. I would really like that general though. I guess I could give them some land temporarily. Um, I'll always take it from them again. And then we can grant a general. So those minus minus twenty will will go away in in f seven years. And by then we are done with the war and we can like take away the cuff uh, again. Yes, but now we have a extra general, so we have this guy. I'm just gonna give it to this guy. And then do we wanna roll a third general? Or do we wanna Hmm I think I may just risk our ruler? Because we have a pretty good air. Uh, he's not as good. Um, let's just roll a general then. It's gonna be shitty, but hey. Oh, he was actually not too bad. Well, sometimes you can be uh, surprised. And I'm just gonna check. This time I actually want my forts to go active. And I also want this to finish first. So we have to wait until the 6th of July. And let's see if we can get a diplomat in here again. Start spying. Definitely get an exploration mission off. Uh, let's check out China. Um, also, before we clear the war, I think I need to have you go into... Uh, Hiding because I'm pretty sure that uh, Malamuks have a bigger fleet than I do, and I don't want to sail this one all the way around. Yeah, I have a pretty huge fleet here. Um, let's actually just kill one up. Um. I don't really want to take this. It's way too much waste. But it's not like it's going to help us in the war. Um, but we actually... We have enough now that we could embrace it if we had the money. So let's see what we can grab in the war. And of course, one, one of our uh, generals die instantly. 
That's nice. Nice of you, game, to do that. Uh, let's just go to full maintenance so we're ready. Production floor on the superstitious. Done on the 6th of July. I used to just change the two around. And we can fit 1400 points, so we don't have to worry about that either. So I think we declared a war now. Um, Ford may not be finished, but oh, that's just to wait those few months. Not gonna be the big difference. Of course, they also have Kanda and Ramasan, but they're like 4000 each, so that's not gonna be a problem. And St. Helena is done. Um, let's just call one of you back and send you out here. Might as well use some of that money on some colonies. So now slaves are more expensive. Oh, let's just get a claim over here, might as well. And the fort is ready, so let's just declare now. Declare war. Bam. Let's see if we can survive this. Um, I think we use this one to spread out. Oh yeah, I should have... Um, I forgot that. And you go out here. And our Master of Mint dies, but we have a... I'm not sure if we can afford him. Yeah, we can. Why the, in the hell did you go out again? Oh my god. Oh, I hate stuff like that. Oh my god. That was pretty shitty. But I guess we might as well start building some more ships then. Uh, five trade ships. Built them down here where it's safe. God damn it. Oh, he can actually attack down there. Uh. Oh, oh, yeah. You're not Black Black Yon Forts, are you? No, you're not. There's really nothing I can do about that. Who is it that can't go there?
There are some stupid mistakes there, just to start it off. And I just complete, complete, completely start this war like a complete idiot. Oh. down here. At least Cairo fell quickly, so that's that. I think with that in mind, I'm gonna end this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, even though I played like a complete asshole in the last um, few minutes, but that's how it uh, goes sometimes. Um, if you did like it, consider li liking uh, the video and subscribing. Hope to see you next time. Until then, have a good day.